Hi, this is Becca from UNC Wellness. For this video, um, we'll be going through an express power yoga class that focuses on strength postures. Because this is a condensed class, the warm-up might be a bit shorter than you would have in a regular gym class. So if you feel like you want to do a full warm-up, find one of the warm-ups in the playlist, do that first, and then come back to this video. Also, you're welcome to use a block for this class, um, especially if you like to use it for balance poses or forward fold. Um, if you don't have a block, a book works just fine. So we'll get started in a seated posture, link through the spine, relaxing our shoulders. And we'll spend a few moments centering on the breath. And if it helps you to focus on the breath, you might choose a word to pair with your inhale and exhale. It could be something as simple as in on the inhale and out on the exhale or any other two words that have meaning for you. And as we breathe, we can feel the gentle rise and fall of the chest and belly. Next inhale, we'll send those arms overhead. And then bring the right hand to the side. We're gonna lean over, open the heart, maybe tilt the eye gaze to the sky. Inhale, both arms to the center. Exhale, down to the other side. Again, open the heart to the sky. You can look to the upper arm. Inhale, find the center again. On your exhale, bring the hands to the lap. We'll move on to some seated cat cows. Still with a long spine. On the exhale, we'll round eye gaze to the ankles. Inhale, open the heart, drop your shoulders. Exhale, round again. Inhale, open up. One more time. Exhale, round. Inhale, open up. Relax the shoulders. We're going to add some circles over the legs, leading with the heart. You can make these circles as wide as you like. Try not to round through the shoulders. And then we'll sweep the other way, still leading with the heart. To the center inhaling lift the arms overhead exhale fold right between the knees relax the head hands pressing forward hips pressing back and we'll walk the hands back up to the center and move over to all fours And from the all fours position, we're gonna move through sunbird pose. Hands can be flat or you can come to fists. We're gonna keep the hips square to the mat. That way we can work on strengthening the lower back. So we're gonna lift up the right leg. Foot is flexed, knee is in line with the hip. On our exhale, we're gonna round in, knee towards the nose. Inhale, press the foot, lift the chin, knee still in line with the hip. Exhale, round. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift up. Two more. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift up. Very good. Go ahead and drop the knee. We're going to switch sides. Flex the foot. Knee in line with the hip. Left foot flex to the sky. Exhale, round. Inhale, chin lifts, knee stops at the hip. Exhale, round. One more time. Good, and we got two more after this. Very good, go ahead and drop the knee. Sit back in the child's pose, bring the hips towards the heels, arms come out to the front, and drop the head. 
And from child's pose, we'll bring our hands shoulder width apart, lift to down dog. Eye gaze to the legs. We're pressing our chest towards the thighs. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, open through the chest. If you'd like to walk the dog here, you can do that as well. And then we'll inhale forward to plank, keeping the abs engaged, chin lifted, elbows behind, biceps forward. And hold and press back to down dog. So you're gonna do a one leg down dog, three times each side. So we're coming forward to the into the left leg, picking up the right knee, right knee goes to the outside of the right elbow and press back. And again, press back one more time, press back, switching sides, left knee to the outside of that left elbow, pressing back two more times. One more time, and then return to down dog, drop the knees, sit back in an extended child's pose. Inhale, lift to down dog again. We're gonna move through our vinyasa flow. Remember to keep the body engaged as we go through. So on the inhale, finding our plank again. Elbows behind us. We're gonna go down slowly. Inhaling, lift the chest, drop your shoulders for cobra. Exhale, release. Back again to down dog. Two more times through. Inhale, forward to plank. Elbows back, go down slowly. Inhaling, lift to cobra. Exhale, release. Back to downward facing dog. One more time through. Inhale forward, elbows back, exhale, release to the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, back to downward facing dog. When you inhale, send up our right leg, step it through the top between the hands. We're going to ease up for a high lunge. Hands can be at the heart, on the thigh, or overhead. Steady your gaze, engage your right big toe on the mat. Try to avoid balling up the foot. I'm gonna reach behind, open the heart, draw your shoulders back and down, maybe lift the chin. Exhale, release to the mat. Left hand to the inside of the foot on the floor or a block. We're gonna lift up the right arm you can also look to your upper thumb. Exhale that upper hand down. We're going to step in with our left foot coming to pyramid. So we're going to straighten that right leg. Fold down over your straight right leg. Stretch the hamstring. Bend into the knee again. We're stepping back into downward facing dog and switching sides. Inhale, lift up the left. Step it through to the top, high lunge. Ease yourselves as you come up, hands at heart or overhead. This time, ground that left big toe. Reach behind, open the heart, draw the shoulders away from the ears, maybe lift the chin. Exhale, bring that right hand down to the inside of the foot on the floor of the block. We're finding a twisting lunge. Lift the left arm, maybe look up to the thumb. Exhale, upper hand down. Step in with your right foot. Fold over that left leg, finding your pyramid. Bring the hands to the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. You can hold here or move through our vinyasa flow one more time. Lifting in the cobra, exhale, release. Step back, downward facing dog. 
and then walk or jump your feet forward into forward fold. We'll pause here for a moment, hands on the floor, the block, or you can bring the arms to the elbows and hang in ragdoll. And from our forward fold, we'll half lift up, neutral spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, reach behind, open the heart, drop your shoulders. We're gonna move through sun salutations. So you can take your own options. If you prefer not to do the vinyasa flow, you can cat cow or even hold the down dog as we move through. So from the top of the mat, we'll sweep our arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, neutral spine. Exhale, fold, take it back to plank. Lift to down dog, and then forward to plank again, moving through our vinyasa. We're gonna exhale as we come down, inhaling as we lift, exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Step or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms sweep overhead. We're gonna exhale, find our chair pose. So we're gonna do that again. Exhale, soft knees, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, take it back to plank. Lift to down dog. Move through your vinyasa flow, keeping the abs engaged the whole time. If you need to drop down and do planks on the knees, that is perfectly fine. Press back to down dog. Step or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale arms overhead. Exhale, find your chair. Through two more rounds of sun salutations, just the same. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Take it back to plank. Lift to down dog. Move through your vinyasa flow. Press back to down dog once more. Step or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, find your chair. So you're gonna move through again. This time we're gonna add a warrior one in the middle. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Take it back to plank. Lifting the down dog. We're going to send the right leg up, step it through to the top between the hands, pull in the left heel, so you're in warrior one, ease yourselves as you lift up. Exhale, reach the hands behind, we're coming to humble warrior, and as we bow down, we might be able to bring that right elbow to the inside of the left knee, and then inhale, lift those arms overhead. Exhale. Hand finds the mat again. Step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up the left leg. Step it through to the top. Bring in your right heel. Warrior one on the other side. Exhale, reach the hands behind. Humble warrior again. This time bring that left shoulder on the inside of that left knee. Inhale, reach those arms overhead. Exhale, hands find the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. And move through your vinyasa flow. Inhaling, lift to cobra. Exhale, release. Press back, all fours or down dog. Step or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale to chair. So move through that vinyasa flow one more time with the warrior ones added in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Take it back to plank. Lift to down dog. On our inhale, send up the right leg. Step it through to the top between the hands. Pull in your left heel, warrior one. We're easing ourselves up. Exhale, reach behind, bring the fingers together, fold at the hip, bringing that right shoulder to the inside of our right knee. Inhale, arms sweep up again. 
Exhale, fold down. Step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up the left leg. Step it to the top between the hands. Pull in your right heel. Inhale, arms come up, warrior one. Exhaling, reach behind and then fold down at that hip. Bring the left, left shoulder to the inside of that left knee. Inhale, arms sweep up again. Exhale, hands find the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. Either hold here or move through your last vinyasa. Inhaling, lift the chest, draw back your shoulders. Exhale, release. Back again, all fours or down dog. Inhale, step or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhaling, find your chair. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach behind, open the heart, drop your shoulders. And release. So do a one-legged chair balance. So bringing our feet hip width distance apart. We're gonna sit back into our chair. Knees are in line with one another. One's not a racing out ahead. Pressing towards the back end of our foot. So we should be able to lift up the toes. We're gonna lean into our left side, kick out our right foot. Now the heel can be on the mat or it can hover above. We're keeping our hands at the heart, shoulders back and down, spine neutral. Very good. Release that foot. Stand up, arms overhead. Exhale down, back into chair. Making sure our knees are in a, even with one another before we lift the leg. So pressing into that right foot, we're gonna pick up the left. The heel can touch the ground or hover above, keeping that spine neutral, shoulders down. Very good, release that foot. I'm gonna sweep those arms overhead again. Exhale, forward fold, and relax the neck. And we find that forward fold, making sure that our feet are getting equal weight from the body, that we're not leaning into one side more than the other, and taking a breath. From forward fold, we'll inhale, half lift up. Exhale, fold, inhale. Sweep those arms overhead. Exhale to the heart. We're gonna take the right leg down the mat, coming into a high lunge, lifting up your back heel, finding strength in your quad. We're gonna press through our left big toe. We're gonna straighten that left leg on the inhale. So in our inhale, we're gonna straighten the left leg, keep your back heel up. Exhale, sink down into the knee. Two more times. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, sink. One more time. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink into the leg. Arm sweep overhead. We're gonna add three sweeps forward. Keep that back heel lifted. On the exhale, we'll fold at the hip. Arms come back. Inhale, lift the arms. Maybe lift the chin as well. Two more times. Exhale, sweep back. Inhale, arms overhead. One more time, exhale, sweep back. Arms lift. Exhale, find the heart. We'll swivel down our left heel, sinking into our warrior two. Warrior two, front knee, stays over the ankle or slightly behind, relaxing our shoulders. If your shoulders are always tense, you know who you are. And take a shoulder roll, relax them down. Eye gaze can look out over those front fingertips. On our inhale, front arm lifts to the sky, big reach. Eye gaze can look up or to your back foot. And then exhale, moving the side angle. Side angle, there's several options. If you choose to have the left leg, with the right arm on the left leg, it's very light, like a butterfly landed there. You can also straighten the arm for a little more core strength. 
If you want to bind, we're going to reach that right arm around. If you can grab your thigh, that left thigh with the right hand, you're probably ready to bind. And we're going to sink down. That left arm comes underneath the thigh. So here's the trick. We're trying to open the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together. We're not collapsing the heart towards the floor. And we're going to look up to the sky. Inhale, release to your warrior two. We're going to straighten the front leg for triangle pose. Hinge at the hip. Open the heart. And bring that left hand to the leg or a block. Right arm comes to the sky or tucks behind. So fighting our triangle pose, our eye gaze might lift up to the sky. Inhale, find your warrior two again. We're going to straighten the front leg, coming to wide leg forward fold. Toes are slightly in from the heels. On our exhale, we'll fold down towards the mat. If you have the flexibility to work down to your forearms, you can do that as well. Inhale, half lift up, neutral spine. We're going to turn towards that right foot and come to a high lunge on the other side. So lifting up our left heel, finding the high lunge, facing the other direction. Right toe is grounded as before. So we're going to straighten the leg three times. On the inhale, we're going to straighten that right leg, keep the left heel lifted. Exhale, sink into the knee. And again, lift. Exhale, sink into the knee. One more time. Lift and straighten that right leg. Exhale, sink into the knee. Add the sweeps, reach the arms overhead. Three sweeps, remember. On the exhale, we'll fold at the hip. Arms sweep back. Inhale, lift the arms overhead. Maybe look to the sky. Exhale, sweep back. Inhale. Lift the arms overhead. Exhale, sweep it back. One more time. Sweep it back. Arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. I'm going to move to warrior two on the other side. So that left foot parallel to the short edge of the mat. Bending into our right knee, lifting our arms. Right knee over that ankle or slightly behind. Check in with your shoulders. They're both strong and soft at the same time. Gaze over your front fingertips. And on the inhale, front arm lifts to the sky. Big reach. Eye gaze can look up or down to your back foot. Exhale. Find your side angle, same options here. We can keep the arm light on the leg, we can straighten the arm or take the bind. If you're binding, that left hand should be able to find the thigh, okay? And then we'll take that right arm, goes underneath that right thigh. We're gonna open up so our heart is facing outward, not to the mat, and the eye gaze can look up to the sky if you choose. Inhale, find your warrior two. Straighten the front leg, exhale, fold into our triangle, open the heart, eye gaze can look up to the sky again, right hand can be on the leg or on a block. Inhale, find your warrior two, windmill the hands over your front foot, step back into down dog, you can hold here or take another flow, inhale forward to plank. Exhale, release. Inhaling, lift a cobra, drop your shoulders. Exhale, release. Back again to downward facing dog. And this time, drop the knees. Sit back in the child's pose. And from child's pose, we're going to lift up to all fours. So square up for tabletop. Hands can be in fists here if you prefer. On our inhale, we'll drop the belly looking up and then exhale round the spine for cat eye gaze to the knees 
And then again, inhale, drop the belly and look up. Exhale, round the spine. Very nice. Neutral spine. We're going to come up to stand on the knees. Toes can be flat or you can prop up on the toes either way. We're going to do some camel. So for camel, a few options. We can bring the heel of the hand to the lower back or the fists. We'll start there. We're squeezing our shoulder blades together. So camel is not a 90 degree bend at the waist. Rather, we're trying to lift and lengthen through the chest, open the heart. So as you lift and lengthen, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Imagine those elbows coming towards one another, eye gaze to the sky. And release. Very good, let's try that again. So bring the hands behind, open the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades, maybe look to the sky. Now if it's in your practice to come to the heels, you're welcome to do that and work your way to the heels, open the heart, chin to the sky. If your back says not today, then don't try it. And come back up. Very good, release to the mat. We're gonna spin around to seated. We're gonna do a little boat pose, everyone's favorite. So if this bothers your tailbone for any reason, you can grab like a towel and sit on a towel. I wouldn't suggest sitting on a block because they're pretty tiny, it makes things a little wobbly. So for boat, it's important to keep a long neutral spine engaged to the abs, no slump asana here. We're not gonna cave forward. So we're gonna open the heart, drop our shoulders. If you forget to prevent yourself from rounding, you can keep the fingertips on the floor. We'll start with one leg at a time and then go both way, both legs if you choose. So we're gonna lift one leg up. We can feel our abs engaged. You also feel your quad doing some work. And then exhale, release. Switch to the other side. Lift the foot. Feel yourself engage. Engage those quads. Very good. Let that down. If you would like to stay with one leg at a time, you can do that. Or this time you can lift up both legs. Knees can stay bent. You can straighten the legs. You can also lift the arms, whatever works for you. So if our abs are rocking, that's where they're supposed to be. So we should feel our abs tightening and you can smile at yourself if you choose and then bring those legs down give yourself a hug very good so you're gonna move on we're gonna do shoelace for the hips there are three options here so you can choose what you like so I'm gonna stick out my right leg cross the left ankle over the right knee. So your first option is a figure four and then you can use your hand to press away the inner thigh. That's one option. You can also do seated pigeon here and bend your right leg. Makes it a little more intense. So that's your option two. If you'd like to do shoelace pose, we're going to start with that right leg extended. Bring the left knee on top of the right and then we're going to take that right foot kick it back towards our left heel. Now the caveat here is we want both sits bones on the mat. So if you feel like you're coming airborne and one glute's coming off the mat, keep that bottom leg out to the front, all right? And sit tall, relax our shoulders. If you want to fold over the leg, you can. Just keep those shoulders down. It's okay if the belly rests on the leg. Inhale, work your way up, unwrap the legs, we're going to switch sides. So again, option one, figure four, this time with the right ankle over the left knee. You can bend the knee, come to your seated pigeon, or add the shoelace. So this time the right knee will be over the left. You can take that left heel, bring it back to the right hip. Check in with your sits bones. Both sits bones should be on the mat. If you're airborne on one side, keep that bottom leg out to the front. Sit tall and then fold over the legs. Relax the head. And release, work your way back up, 
unwrap those legs, come to a cross-legged position, and do some eagle arms here. Bring my right arm out to the front, left arm crosses at the elbow. You have two options. You can give yourself a hug or wrap the arms. And wherever we are, we're gonna take a shoulder roll. So inhale the shoulders towards the ears and then allow those shoulder blades to settle back and down. And then release, send those arms behind you, open the chest, drop your shoulders. And then switch sides, left arm in the bottom, right arm crosses at the top. Either give yourself a hug or wrap the arms. If you're wrapping the arms or giving yourself a hug, we're taking that shoulder roll and bring the shoulders up towards the ears and then let them settle down. And then release those hands behind you, open the heart, drop your shoulders. Release the hands, open the feet like a book, sitting tall. If you'd like to fold over the feet, you're welcome to do that. Relaxing the head. Notice here if, you, if you're tensing the quads and see if you can soften up those spaces. Walk your way back up, cross those legs, and bringing the shoulders towards the ears, we're going to allow the shoulders to settle back and down, bringing the hands to the lap, just taking some deep breaths in and out through the nose. We'll inhale the arms overhead, bring the hands together. We'll bring the thumbs to the forehead for kind thoughts, to the lips for kind words, to the heart for kind intentions. I really hope I'm able to see you soon. Namaste.